In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use code snippets to navigate between scenes. I have created six identical scenes, the only difference being that the text in each scene will say the scene name. For example, I'm currently on scene six. To move from scene to scene, when you're coding, you can do it right up here, or if you have your actions window open, you can quickly switch in your navigation pane over at the side and it will show you in the corner here which scene you're currently on. I'm going to navigate to scene one. Each of my scenes currently is a single frame identifying the scene with a back and a forward button. The code that exists in each frame is simply stop which I put into place by double clicking stop at this frame. I'm going to return to scene one and you can see I'm in scene one and I'm going to select only the forward button on that screen. I want this button to move it to the next scene so I'm going to choose go to next scene and play. That automatically puts all the code to move me immediately to the next scene. Unfortunately using the back option here will not work. I can't go to the previous scene and play because there is no previous scene. In this case, I just want to click go to scene and play. That will let me have it rotate back to scene six if I simply put in what I named my scene. Now I do not like naming scenes with spaces in them. It's much easier if you use all lowercase and no spaces. So I named my scene scene six and you can verify that actually right here scene six no spaces. Since that works I should be able to have this navigate to the next scene and back to the scene six since I want it to rotate. I believe in testing frequently so I'm going to test at this point only scene one is programmed. Ignore the text message it'll still work. Forward takes me to scene two, that one's not programmed, back's not programmed here, not a problem. I'm going to run it again, I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to hit back, and it takes me to scene six. So it's very easy for me to move from scene to scene to scene, and I'm going to take my actions frame, move it out here where we can see it, and I'm going to quickly go through adding that to each scene. So I'll Pull this down a little bit so I can quickly change between scenes. Actually, I can do that right here, scene two. And since scene two is easy, I can just go to next scene and play. And it's automatically adding names for me for my button objects on the stage. And I can go to the previous scene because the previous scene does exist. Scene three, select just the button pointing forward. Let's deselect that. Select the button to go to the next scene, next scene and play. Hit OK to accept that it will give it an instance name. Back, go to previous scene and play. We'll go to scene four, go to next scene and play, go to previous scene and play, Go to scene five, go to next scene and play, go to previous scene and play, and in my final scene, scene six, I'm going to run into the same problem I ran into the first one. Previous scene will work just fine because there is a scene five, so we'll get that in first. Go to previous scene and play. And now for my other button, where I want it to go to the next scene, here I want it to wrap back to scene one. So again, we're going to select go to scene and play. This will go by scene name, and instead of the default scene three, we want it to go to scene one, all lowercase, no spaces, scene one. Let's test it and make sure it works the way I want. Scene one, two. Oh, that's bad. 
I'm stopped at scene two. Let's see what went wrong. We'll go to scene two. And it should. It should work. Next scene, previous scene. Movie clip five, add event list mirror. Oh, I've got them both on the same button. All right, well, let's pull that out. See how it's both movie clip five? That's got to confuse it. So I selected the same button twice. Let's try this again. We're going to those should not be one instance. Let's try modify break apart. There we go. I don't know how they got combined into one. I leave the errors in here just because in case you run into it, I want you to know what to do. So I'm going to go to next scene in play. So I did, yep, my stop's in there. And then I want this one to go to previous scene in play. And notice button 12, button 13, that's much better. Okay, let's try it again. No matter how long you've been doing this, you can always get errors in your programming. So it's critical to test. That worked perfectly. We'll go the other way. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. I did have my buttons shift a little. That might matter in some areas. Here it doesn't. So it's very easy to add buttons and shift scenes. And as you can see, you don't have to just go to the next scene or the previous scene. You can name the scene that you want to, allowing you to have nonlinear navigation through your movie.